I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to convert inches to feet. What we know is that 1 feet is equal to 12 inch. Right? So at times we write this as 1 feet equals to 12 inches. Right? So that is the conversion factor. Of course if you are given inches you are going to divide to get the answer in feet. Right? So we need to convert inches to feet. That is what we practice in this particular video. So let me start with some very simple values. For example, if I have multiples of 12, for example, if I have 36 inches and I want to convert them to feet, let me write this as in the short form. Also, we could write like that. Okay. Let's say we have this. Then how many feet will be when we convert 36 inches, then what should we get? So that is a question for us. Now since we know that 1 feet has 12 inches, so it is very clear that if I reverse it, then I know that 1 inch should be equal to 1 over 12 of a feet, right? So. So in one feet there are 12 inches. So one inch is one twelfth of a feet. So if I have to convert this to feet, then I should be dividing this number by 12. Is that okay? So that is how we can convert. So what we can do here is we can do 36 inches divided by 12 to get the answer in feet. And this is simpler since we get a whole number. 36 divided by 12 is 3, so the answer is 3 feet. Okay, so far it is good. Let me take one more simple example. Again, I'm taking a multiple of 12 and I'm writing this as 48 inches. Now, when we have inches and we want to convert to feet, we can also, at times we may forget whether we should multiply or divide. Now, what we can do in such cases is just remember that 1 feet is 12 inches. So what we can do here is we can say 1 feet, right, which is kind of like this, 1 feet and 12 inches is 12 inches. So inches, inches will cancel out what we get is feet. Do you see that part? So we could do like this also. So in this, let's cancel these. So 12 goes 4 times. So we get 4 times 1 feet is four feet you get an idea right let me do one more or which is kind of similar so in this particular case uh, let's take six inches so i'm writing this time in in words six inch and we want to convert this to feet that's the whole exercise we are converting inches to feet so the way to do it is without remembering whether you have to multiply or divide we can say six inch okay we want feet on the top, right? So we know one feet is 12 inches. So we'll write one feet is 12 inches, right? 12 inches. So that helps. Now clearly, we get the units in feet. Do you see that? So dividing by 12, the inches, we get feet. That's what I'm trying to uh, say in these examples. So what do we get? We get 6 over 12, 6 over 12 uh, feet which is definitely half, right? So, so we get half feet. Okay. So we have done three examples where we had a whole number, a kind of a fraction which is easy to work with, half a feet, right? So six inches is half. Okay. So I hope so far it is fine, no problems at all. Right. Now let me take up some examples where when we divide by 12, we land up in decimal numbers. So let us say a value which is around these values, but not the exact number. Let's take 40 inches, for example. Okay, now 40 inches should be converted to feet. Now, we know that 40 is between 36, which is three feet, 48, which is four feet. So definitely we are going to get 40 as some feet and some inches. Now, how do we know that? Well, 
we now know that 40 divided by 12 is giving us the answer but this time it is 10 over 3 or in decimals it is 3.33 now 3.33 feet it doesn't make much sense now what should we do in such cases that is the main criteria well 3.33 gave us some idea that is to say that from 40 inches we can have that is the thinking part 12 times 3 which is 36 so these are 3 feet how many remain 4 remains right so 40 could be written as 36 plus 4 inches is that okay so 40 could be written as 36 plus 4 inches where 36 inches is 3 feet and 4 inches remain do you get an idea so we could write 40 inches as 3 feet and 4 inches do you get an idea well even by dividing we could have got this answer we say 40 divided by 12 is equals to 10 over 3 feet converting to decimal gives us three whole numbers so this three whole number is what i'm saying here right so that is three feet now 0.3 feet could be converted back to inches right so, so basically it is 0 0.3333 times 12 though that, those are we feet right equals to 3.9999 do you see that closing to 4 so we could take that as 4 inches you get an idea right so you could do like this also well let's practice a few more questions just as we did 3 over there let's take some more okay let's take 100 inches okay now 100 inches we want to convert to feet what should we do well one way is of course we can do 100 inches uh, divided by 12 that will give us uh, that will give us feet right so this will give us feet so if i do that what do i get 100 divided by 12 is equals to 25 by 3 which in decimals is equals to 8.3 recurring 3333 right so from our past experience we find that 8 are feet and 0.3 part is decimal feet which could be converted to inches correct and which converts to 4 inches right kind of one third this is one third of an inch we could think like this 8 and one third of a feet do you understand so 8 full and one third of a feet now one third of 12 one third of 12 let me show you here one third of 12 that is 4 that is how we get these 4 inches right so now we know how to do it so we could say well 8 inches is equals to uh, 8 feet and 8 feet and 4 inches do you get an idea right so that is how you could convert inches to feet let's take the last example uh, which is let us say 150 inches let me write this time in inches right so if i want to convert this to feet i will say 150 inch uh, times since i need a feet i know one feet is 12 inches right so here i will show you how the units are taken care of inch inch gets cancelled we are left with feet right so we have 150 divided by 12 equals to in decimal 12 holes and a half right 12 and a half so this is easy so you could write this as 12 inches and how many i mean i'm sorry 12 feet 12 feet and when we say 0.5 that means 6 inches do you get an idea right or you could write this as 12.5 feet equals to 12 inches I mean 12 feet and 6 inches is it right so that is how you could write it correct now here is a test question for you you can convert a 200 inches to feet and inch right okay so that is for you to practice you can follow what you've learned here to write this answer 
in feet and inches. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.